Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? Today's part 3 of the home tour newly redesigned user interface. Let's go! Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of VR. Woo! My name is Lazio SK, and welcome back to part 3 of the guided home tour of the newly launched recently Oculus Quest redesigned user interface because everything is new. Part one and part two, by the way, is in the link description below. So go and check those out. If you think that part three really helped you, then I'm sure that part one and two will help you also. Today, we're gonna to be looking at how to increase your storage space, enable your guardian, and also how to enable password. All right, so of course, the guardian, we need to talk about this because this is very important. Now do note that in Oculus Quest version 16, well, phew, you're very lucky if you just bought the Oculus Quest because it will remember different guardians. So if you set up your guardian, for example, in your bedroom and then your living room, and then perhaps in a hallway somewhere, it should remember the different locations so you don't have to redo it every time. And then when you walk in those locations, it will show up on your screen when you tap, let's say, room scale, because if it was room scale, then it will, you click on room scale and it will show up automatically. You don't have to redo it. However, before we had to redo it every single time we went to the same location. So that was pretty, pretty annoying. However, you can also adjust the room scale sensitivity. So what I suggest you do is at the beginning, it's normally on simple. So when you see simple, it will just show uh, basically these kind of settings. So a lower guardian sensitivity means you'll be alerted less when moving faster and closer towards the boundary's edge. This may increase your risk of injury, however. So do be aware of this. And I do recommend that if you're gonna do your guardian to at least leave 40 cm, if not one meter away from a wall, a pole, a column, a poster, a banner, whatever you're gonna do it. So generally it's left in, in, it's left in the middle. Uh, I'm fine with that. Now, if you click on advanced, however, you'll see that different settings will come up. So now we can actually adjust not just the general setting of, of itself, but also the head set distance sensi sensitivity as well. So uh, I generally leave it around here. There's also the controller. So maybe your head is in the center, but your controllers, you're moving your arms out. So you don't want the arms to trigger the actual uh, guardian or perhaps you know your space is very small so i would definitely leave this on because you don't want to hit your touch controllers on the wall and then break your touch controllers then also the headset speed sensitivity so depending on the lower headset speed sensitivity means you'll be alerted less during faster movement near a boundary edge now this is pretty cool stuff because we didn't usually have this before, so it would just alert us whenever. And then controller speed sensitivity also. So the faster your controllers go towards the boundary, then the more it will come up and tell you, hey, whoa, just chill out a little well, a little bit, because you might start injuring yourself. So that's basically what it means. So other features that there are, there's pass-through shortcut. Now that's very cool. Pass-through shortcut basically enables you to double tap on your headset, anywhere on the side of your headset. Double tap the left or the right hand side of your headset to turn on pass through at any time. Double tap again to exit pass through and get back into VR. Done. Right, so basically all I'm gonna do, you can see on the video, I double tap on the right hand side. Boom, we're in pass through and I double tap again. Boom, we're back inside the Optus Quest. If I try the right side, boom, we're in pass through and I do it again. Boom, we're back inside of the Oculus Quest. All right, let's go to the avatar. Here you go. When you click on your own little picture there, it will show this little tab that will come up. And then just click with your trigger on view full profile. And then another tab will load. So what you can do is you can actually edit your avatar. And this avatar will be what other people see when basically you're doing like a party or you're in an app that uses Facebook they'll be able to see that avatar. So this is me in, in Oculus. So if you meet this guy looking like this, then that's with this voice, it's probably me. You can change the face, the eyes, the lips, the hair. You can randomize your avatar, do absolutely everything. We'll do a separate video on this, so do hit the subscribe and bell notification. 
Before I share with you some last tips, I just want to give a quick shout out to all those who went to watch and comment on one of the previous videos, which is all about the review of Color Space. You guys are awesome. Remember to leave a comment below so I can give you a shout out in the next video. Of course, knowing how much storage you have is equally important. So let's talk about this for a few seconds. So you just go underneath to storage and especially if you have the 64 gigabytes, then you do realize that, you know, Oculus, the actual software itself will take a certain amount of memory out of the box. So you will not have 64 gigabytes of free memory, even if you don't have any apps inside of your Oculus Quest. Now, the cool thing in this change is that it actually tells you what is eating up your memory, a bit like on a PC. This is brand new. We never used to have this before. So for example, my applications at the moment are taking most of my things. And again, you can mouse over and it will just tell you automatically how many gigabytes it's actually taking. So the system itself is taking 18 gigabytes from my Oculus Quest. Now that's big. That's a big chunk considering that, you know, 22 gigabytes is coming from my app. So oof. and then you'll see the media here. Videos are taking 10 gigs, almost 11 gigs and then unknown resources, which is basically uh, side quest and you know, any unknown things that are not uh, made by Oculus. This is where it tells me how many gigs it's taken me. Now for side quest things, we'll talk this about in a separate video uh, because those who are new are not gonna know what side quest is. All right, so next let's go to, whoa, let's just carry on in the storage. So what you can do basically is you can filter by application, virtual environment, images, video, downloads, etc., etc. And you can also filter by A to Z, Z to A or largest first. So what you can do here is you just click, you can click on multiple different things and then conduct a one for all action. So you can uninstall or in my case, we're just going to cancel or you can just uninstall one by one by one. So you, you know, maybe you don't want to uninstall everything at the same time or multiple things. So basically you can just do it one at a time as well. So that basically covers the storage. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you found it useful. Remember to hit the like and subscribe, share some love so that you and I together can grow the community and help as many people as possible in virtual reality. That's right. All right, high five to you. Hit the bell so you get notified when I upload part four as well, which will be very soon. Until next time, take it easy. And as always, DJ, take it away. Take it away.